Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the median. Median is under the measures of central tendency, kasama niya si mean and mode. At ang target nilang tatlo is to calculate for the center or hanapin nila yung centro ng mga data set na meron tayo. So kung gusto mo matutunan yung iba pang mga videos natin about the central tendency like mean and mode, ilalagay ko sa ating description box yung mga links na bawat video na meron tayo. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, let's define first what is median. The median is the middle score. So this is the word na pwede natin gamitin. Middle score for a set of data that has been arranged in increasing or decreasing order. So to calculate for the median, and uh, so ano muna na, sabihin muna sa inyo, this given data set are under ungrouped data. So, for us to calculate for the median of these two sets of ungrouped data, kailangan muna natin i-arrange in increasing or decreasing order. But for this tutorial, kasi mas gusto ko kasi na in-arrange nila in increasing order or in ascending order. So, let's have this example. Number 1, we have 55, 60, 48, 50, and 52. So, first step natin, to calculate for the median is to arrange the numbers. So we need to determine which one is the smallest. So we have here the 48, followed by 50, and then 52. Next is 55, followed by 60. So this one, or this given data set, is arranged already in ascending order mula 48 pataas hanggang 60. Now next step natin is to calculate or sorry to count the number of elements in this given data set. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 positions. So since we have 5 positions, we can easily determine the middle part or the middle score in this given data set. So, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And the middle is your 3rd. Again, the 3rd position. Therefore, the median of this ungrouped data is simply 52. So, madali lang siya kasi meron tayong center, specific center. Because the number of elements is odd number, which is 5 positions na meron tayo. So let's move on with item number 2 para mas visualize nyo anong ginawa ko sa item number 1. For item number 1, we have 160, 54, 156, 160, 170, and 155. And counting in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have 6 data elements in this given data set. We have 6 elements. So una natin gagawin is to arrange this in ascending order, so we will start with 54. Okay, 54. I want 54. Followed by 155. In increasing or ascending order, next is 156. Followed by 160 and 160. And next, lastly, we have 170. Since binilang natin siya kanina as 6 positions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, yung position na pipili natin dito ay iba na, compared dito. So, pipili tayo ng dalawa na sa gitna, which is the 3rd and the 4th. So, 3rd and 4th. Kasi, unlike dito kasi kanina guys, meron tayong 5 given elements, which is meron talaga siyang center. Since ang ating data is an even, uh, has an even number of data, pipili tayong dalawang position, which is yung malapit sa pinakagitna. So we will add them. So to find the median, we will add the third and the fourth position, 156 plus 200, 160. So we will get their average and 
to get their average, we need to divide it by 2. So we can, if we add them, their sum is equal to 200. How many? 200, sorry, not 200. This is 300. 16 over 2. Check natin ha. 100 plus 100 is 200. 50 plus 60 is 116. So we have here 316 and then divided by 2. This will give you the median of 158. So as you can see guys, the 158 natin is between 156 and 160. So definitely, this is the value of our median. So, if you have any question about our solution, pwede kayo mag-comment sa ating comment section para makita natin if you want to clarify something about this process. Pero ganito lang naman siya. Uh, una, i-arrange nyo siya in increasing order or decreasing order. But, mas gusto, uh, mas okay kasi para sa akin yung increasing order mula sa mas mababa, pagpunta sa pataas. And then, Bilangin mo kung ilan yung ano, unang gawin, asunod mong gawin dun after may arrange is bilangin mo kung ilang data ang meron ka. If odd number siya, like item number 1, pili, after may arrange, pili mo yung pinakagitna. Kapag naman even number of data set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 like this one, kukunin mo yung dalawang, pinakamala, dalawang position pinakamalapit sa gitna, add them, and then divided by 2, and then you can calculate for the median. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung method natin on how to calculate for the median. And sana mapanood yung ating video about the mean and mode na nasa ating description box. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gawan. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!